everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video. A couple of weeks ago I unboxed and repainted my very first LOL surprise doll and you know I really enjoyed working on it. It was really fun, it was completely different than Monster High dolls and I know that many of you have also enjoyed it a lot, I've read the comments, you know. So today I've decided to do it again and I've got another LOL surprise from this hair goals collection because if you remember the last time I've got immediately the rare doll without real hair but with molded hair covered with some glitter so today let's hope we're going to get the one with hair and you know what is funny about this kind of a makeover is that you have seen already the thumbnail you have read already the title of this video so you kind of know what we are going to make today but i have no idea because i have no idea how this doll looks i have of course already a couple of ideas and some of them i also got from the comments under that last lol surprise repaint video but i have no idea which concept this doll would fit. For this we'll first have to go through all these layers of packaging and honestly I can't wait to see what is inside so let's dive in, let's open the box. So here I have again the instruction and some sort of a mirror, but this I don't really need. Let's immediately open the box. And the moment of truth, who is this gonna be? Wow, super cute doll with real hair! <laughs> Oh, and in a super cute outfit. Something like pyjama outfit or something like this. So extremely cute. And this is gonna be this doll, the snow bunny, I think. Oh, she's so cute. She was my favorite from the beginning, I think. And the last time we had this one. Okay, let's unpack the outfit and the accessories. So yeah, it's a holder for this thing. Here are the ears, or by the way, they're super cute, they're fluffy. Super cute tiny pink shoes. And here is the outfit. And here we have also such a comb for her hair. But anyway, her ponytail is seriously glued with some hairspray or with something like this. You cannot brush her hair. Ah yeah, the banks you can style. <laughs> and here is here still something, yes. And here we have very cute, also pink cup. This doll is so cute that I don't even want to destroy her, because who knows, will I be able to make her even cuter than she is now? But we will know it very soon, because I'm going to destroy her anyway. <laughs> So, first of all, let's remove her outfit again. And then I'm going to cut her hair as short as I can. I 
I cannot really go inside of this doll's head because you see here is some plastic construction that I cannot remove. It goes really deep like over here. So whatever I'm doing, I cannot really pull this thing out. So I cannot really go inside of the head to remove the rest of the short hair, but let's try. I think I will be able to do it from the outside as well. It will just take a little bit longer. So you can see the rest of the hair is completely gone now and it means I can take pure acetone and remove all this factory paint from her face. our transformation I want to start with a mini plastic surgery. First of all I want to remove this molded eyeliner or its upper eyelids, I don't know, this thing above her eyes I want to remove. I also want to remove a little bit this upper lip to sand it off and then I'm going to fill in this hole between her lips, her mouth, I'm going to fill it in with the epoxy sculpt. And the next step is actually quite unusual here on my channel because normally I take all kinds of blue, green, purple, pink, orange Monster High dolls and I give them more normal human skin tone. But today we're going to do something completely opposite. We're going to take this normal human color LOL doll and we're going to paint her blue. Because, as you could see it already from the thumbnail, today we are going to make the sadness character from the Inside Out cartoon. So, let's take my airbrush and let's cover this doll with a couple of layers of light blue acrylics. And while all these layers of paint are dry now, I have already prepared here the pencils and pastels. And you know, this is of course the most unusual color selection I've ever used on my channel. Because just the black, the white and the grays are here like usually. And for the rest we have all shades of blue. And these pastels, they really remind me of the blue blood palette from Jeffree Star. Like lots of blues and a touch of nude pink. And after the paint got dried, I've sealed also the doll with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant to prepare the surface to be able to draw on it. And right now we are going to create a completely new look for our doll. I begin with her glasses and I can tell that the eyes of the original sadness were a little bit closer to each other. But I'm quite limited here, you know, because I cannot put these doll's molded eyes closer than they are already. Or I had to remove this face completely, but we will do it maybe the next time. Today let's work with what we already have now today. Then I draw the eyebrows, the mouth, and also apply the shading using blue soft pastels. I've probably never even used these blue soft pastels before.
To the apples of her cheeks and to the lips I add a touch of pink pastels because I can see it on the reference picture. And then I draw her eyes and I also make her glasses, the eyebrows and the lips a little bit more detailed. She looks so cute to me and she looks also completely different than the rest of my dolls. And I'm actually going to sculpt her outfit using this silk clay. You could see it already on my channel a couple of weeks ago. I used it in the doll with two faces repaint. I used it to fill in the doll's head from the inside. This clay is air dry, it's extremely light and it doesn't stick to any surfaces, so if you want we can always take our outfit off and then put it back on later. So I'm going to choose just whatever color, because anyway there is no white clay here, they're all skin tone, so we'll have to paint it later. And I'm going to use, yeah, for example, this skin flesh tone color doesn't really matter and here i have also a bunch of sculpting instruments i will not need all of them of course it's too many but it's better to be prepared you know so let's start sculpting
and it looks already very cute I think now I'm going to take a very sharp knife and I'm going to add some sort of a knitted texture to this sweater Okay, now we'll let this clay dry for 24 hours and then we're going to paint it with acrylics. And now we still need to make a wig for our doll, but unfortunately I don't have any blue yarn here in stock and right now it's actually Sunday evening, so there is no chance for me to go buy blue yarn somewhere, they don't sell it at night shops here. So I'm going to use the materials that I have now in my stock and I'm going to work with this white acrylic yarn. So first of all I'm going to cut it like always in shorter pieces and tie them around some barbecue sticks. Then I brush the yarn with this brush for cats and after this I make the hair straight with a hot hair straightener. Now I cut this hair off the stick, put it onto some plastic surface and I apply a touch of tacky glue to these cut edges. I let this glue dry completely, so here I have my wefts and now I'm going to turn this blonde hair or even white hair into blue hair using these fabric markers from Arteza. You could see them also a couple of videos ago. It was also a doll with two faces video and then we figured out that you can actually use these markers for coloring doll hair and this is exactly what we're going to do now i'm going to take these two blue markers and i'm going to dye the hair I let the markers dry for 7 hours and now I'm going to use this hot hair straightener again to make these markers permanent. And now I can finally make a wig for her using my regular hot glue technique.
After this I'm styling the wig using this eyebrow razor, it works just ideal on yarn hair. So now I just want to add a touch of glossy acrylic varnish to her glasses and after this we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So and here is our little sadness. This doll has become completely different compared to the way she looked before and even though I was completely in love with the pink bunny version of her in the beginning, right now I have become a huge fan of her blue and sad look. And I especially like the glasses and the eyes, how they turned out. And I think turning these big molded eyes into glasses is a really good idea for customizing LOL surprise dolls. And I honestly really like working on these tiny dolls, or it's even better to say I like working on different kinds of dolls all the time. Like some weeks ago it was an absolutely huge human size Rapunzel doll, and now it's this tiny lol surprise. And it helps kind of to keep my mind fresh. And I would really like to know what do you think about this kind of a makeover? Should we work some more on these tiny dolls in the future? Or maybe there are some any other types of dolls you want me to repaint? Please let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments here down below. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this doll transformation today and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. It's really important for me and for my channel. Of course, subscribe if you're new here. I upload new doll repaint videos every week Friday. Hit the bell button and I will see you already very soon in my next video. Love you guys. Bye!